Hey everyone, it's Gina. It's been a long time since we talked. I think the last time I posted a video was in October of last year, so it's been about five months. And so I thought it was time to check in. Over the last couple of weeks, I've had a couple of new subscribers to the channel. I've received some comments on some old videos I posted, and then, as always, I received a few emails asking, where are you and when are the new videos coming out? So, I was really, I really started to think about what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel because it's on my to-do list all the time. It's, uh, and it's one of those things where my, my to-do app um, allows me to like postpone for a day or a week or two weeks. And so every morning when I wake up and I look at my to-do list, I hit that postpone button, postpone button, postpone button. And I'm either going to stop postponing it and doing it, or I'm just going to take it off the to-do list. So that was kind of the thing that I was thinking about over the last couple of weeks. And as I was looking through old videos and looking at the old comments and thinking about why I started on YouTube, which I can't answer. Um, I do remember when I first started that I was watching a lot of people on YouTube and I was getting a lot of inspiration and um, there was a, a feeling of camaraderie about it and I think that's why I started. Um, and so over the, it's ebbed and flowed uh, for that. But I was looking at my old videos and it turns out that I posted my first video to this channel in March of 2012, which means that my five year YouTube anniversary, if you will, uh, is in March. So, and March is two days away, so it's close. And I started to think, like, do you want to continue to do this or don't you? And I haven't been absent from YouTube. I watch YouTube videos all the time. I, uh, when I'm working, when I'm not traveling and I work from home, uh, I spend my lunchtime watching YouTube videos. And sometimes that extends long past lunchtime, but I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'm still very much inspired by the crafting community on YouTube. And it was just a matter of what are you going to make a priority? Over the last year, uh, Stu started a new business and for a good portion of that time, his business took over a good portion of our house. And there was Stu's business stuff just everywhere. If you can imagine, our basement, if you can imagine, an episode of Hoarders without the trash and the food and all of the dis... It was just lots of clutter. Lots of clutter. Um, nothing was growing mold in my basement, but just lots of clutter. And so we've spent the last few weeks actually really getting his inventory and things organized so that he is now out of my crafting space, all over, self-contained in his own two rooms. And so his business is doing really well as uh, also. So, but he's all set up now. So he's, uh, he's good to go. And now to take that time and figure out what I wanted to do with it. I've been doing a lot of crafting. I still scrapbook. I've been doing a lot of crafting, like decorative things for around the house. And so I haven't left the scrapbooking community and I haven't stopped scrapbooking. It's just, I don't know what it is about, like it gets to the point where I was like, oh, I don't know. It, you know, you start to have those moments of self-doubt. You know, is is this layout even worth sharing or you know, look at that mess I made there, or you go through those thoughts. And so it becomes like, yeah, this layout's not worth it, you know, or yeah, I don't want to do it. whatever. And I've never been that person. I've been like, this is what I make, you know, you want to watch great. If you don't, that's okay too. Um, but I guess I just, I don't know. I got bit by that self-conscious bug. And so it, it took a little, a little while for me to think about it. And I decided that I do enjoy it. I do enjoy the camaraderie of the community. I enjoy uh, interacting with everyone. I just haven't been doing it. I, it, but it's something that I very much enjoy. And it's something that I want to make a priority again. So I'm working to revamp and revitalize my channel. I have been going through all of my old videos and reorganizing them into playlists. And because I am me, I've been changing the titles of all the videos so that they're all consistent because it's driving me crazy what um, I've called process videos, all kinds of number of things over the, over the time that I've been on YouTube. So I've been retitling everything to make it clear what it is and I've been putting things in playlists so that it's clear what's, you know, going on in, 
you know, so that people can find exactly what they want um, to watch. So I've been working on that. I made a new header for the channel. Um, Stu tells me there's some problems with it, so I'll have to take a look at it, but made a new header. You know, I'm just, um, I'm working really to get back involved with my YouTube channel. So what can you expect? So every Monday I hope to post one of these forward-facing videos just to kind of let you know what's going on for the week because I feel really bad for those people who send me messages. I love to receive their messages, don't get me wrong, but I re feel really bad when the message is always like, when can we get new videos from you? When are you going to post a new video? So I want to kind of just lead off the week with this is what's going on this week, this is what you can expect, and then move on from there so that you either know I'm going to be traveling like a crazy person and I'm not going to be able to post a video, or there'll be videos coming, so check them out. Either way. So with th that with that being said, this week, February 27th, I um, reorganized my whole scrap room uh, with the whole changing with... St re uh, organizing Stu's office gave me my craft room back. And of course, the minute we cleaned it up, I had to reorganize the whole thing. So I rearranged and I reorganized and we put more furniture in it and we took other furniture away. So you know, as typically happens when you uh, clean up a scrap room. I don't know, it seems like every time I clean mine, I rearrange something. So you'll get a new room tour. It's a full room tour, unlike the little summary room tour I did uh, last June. This one will go into all the all the drawers and all of that to show you everything. And um, if you have any comments about my massive amounts of supplies or my budget or anything like that, keep them to yourself. <laughs> because uh, I know what my budget is and, and I know the uh, immense amount of supplies that I have. I'm already aware. So that's coming. I have an art journal page uh, coming this week and I also have a scrapbook layout coming this week. So I don't know if I'm going to post them all tonight before I leave for Puerto Rico or if I'll get them uh, up when I get back from Puerto Rico. But either way, you will get all three of those videos this week. And then we'll check in on Monday and I'll let you know where we stand then. That means I'm going to have to, like, I don't know, get dressed on Monday. You might have a whole lot of pajama videos. Um, but we'll see. So that's where we are. I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys again and, and getting more regular in scheduling my, and not scheduling, but in posting my uh, YouTube videos. And I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you later. Take care. Bye.